So here we have question number 20. Two towns A and B are 80 kilometers apart. Juma started cycling from town A to town B at 10 a.m. at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Mutuku started his journey from town B to town A at 10.30 a.m. and traveled by car at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, so A, uh, calculate, Roman number one, the distance from town A when Juma and Mutuko met, uh, you get five marks. So normally when I'm solving this kind of a question, I normally like to make a sketch. So let's say this is a, this is a distance from A. Uh, we have this is our A, town A, and this is town B. Uh, so from the information given, uh, we start with the Juma. So Juma started at A and started the journey at 10 a.m and was uh, moving at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So we have, uh, this is uh, Mutuku, uh, started at 10.30 uh, a.m. and was moving at 60 kilometers per hour using a car. Uh, we are told the distance from A to B is 80 kilometers. So when you have it displayed like that, it is easier for you to be able to get the to work out uh, what is required so you can see here uh juma uh, juma started earlier that is at 10 uh, at 30 minutes earlier than uh, mutuko so it means at 10 that uh, juma had covered a certain distance which we can say be able to calculate that is uh, 30 minutes uh, so we say distance is equals to uh, speed multiplied by time the speed of uh, Juma was 40 kilometers per hour. Time is half an hour. So it's just half an hour. And that will give you 20 uh, kilometers. So it means but by the time Mutuko was starting the journey, uh, Juma had already covered 20 kilometers. And you see now, the distance from A to B is 80 kilometers as we are told. So we have 60 now remaining. So let's say they met at point M. Uh, so it means that uh, if we get, if we say that is our X, that is uh, from uh, this point here to where they met, then this means that this will be 60 minus X. Uh, then the other very important concept here is the time that Juma took from this point, of, that is after 20 kilometers, to the meeting point is the same time Mutuko took from B to the meeting point time that is very important when you are solving this kind of question so we say how do we how do we get time uh, time uh, we normally say time is equals to uh, distance over speed so it means uh, since the distance covered by Juma is X to the where they met you divide by speed which is 40 it is the same as the distance covered by uh, Mutuko, that is 60 minus x, uh, you divide by the speed uh, which was uh, 60 kilometers. So once you get x, then you'll be able to work it out. So here you say mot cross multiply. Uh, th so this, this implies that 60 multiplied by x, that will give you 60x is equal to 40 multiplied by uh, 40 multiplied by uh, by 60 that will give you for 2400 uh you minus uh this is uh this is uh what uh this is uh this is uh, 40 x so you take 40 x to this side becomes positive so we have 100 x is equals to uh this is uh 2400 divided by 100 x is equals to uh, 24 so for, to the meeting point which is m and juma had covered 20 so it means they met at at uh, 40 plus uh, that is 20 plus 24 that will give you 44 kilometers so this means this is 20 plus 24 that will give you 20 kilometers so let's go to part roman number two roman number two we are told the time you to calculate the time of the day when the two met so the time they met, they met at M. We, we need to find, for us to get time, we say time is equals to 
uh, distance over speed. You can to work it uh, in two ways. You can find the time Juma took from A to M by because we know the distance is 44, 20 plus 24, and we divide by the speed. Once you get that time, you add to 1030. Te that is 10 a.m. Uh, alternatively, you can get the, the distance covered by Mutuko, which is uh, 60 minus 24, uh, or, or 80 minus 44, which will give you 36. And you divide by the speed of Juma, then you add to uh, 1030. So, but okay, I'll do just so we use one. I use Juma. Ju Juma had covered 44 kilometers. Uh, you divide the, by the speed, uh, which is uh, was traveling at 40 kilometers per hour. So, when you divide this, uh, you get uh, this is 11 over 11 over 10. Uh, this will give you uh, 1.1 uh, hours. Uh, 1.1 hours, this means it is equals to, uh, if you divide by, that is, uh, you get in 0 0.1, so this means it is 1 hour, uh, then we have 0 0.1 of 60, uh, so 60 multiplied by uh, 0 0.1, that will give you 6. So it is one hour, six minutes. So this this is the time that uh, Juma took uh, up to the time they met. Th so it means since Juma had started at uh, 10 uh, a.m., uh, they, they took one hour, six minutes. Uh, so six minutes. So you add, you get six, you get zero, uh, you get 11, 11. So they met at 11 a.m. Uh, that is where when they met with Mutuku. Uh, so we go to part uh, B. Kamau started cycling from town A uh, to town B at 10.21. He met Mutuku at the same time as Juma did. Determine Kamau's speed. How do we calculate uh, the speed? Speed is equal to distance over time. So this means that uh, by the time uh, Kamau met Juma, or met Mutuku at that same point where Juma met Mutuku, uh, he had covered 44 kilometers. You divide by it. Uh, since Kamau met uh, Mutuku at the same time as Juma, and it Kamau started at 10 that is, so you can say uh, the time they, they met, that is uh, 10 30, uh, they met at 11. Uh, or 6 a.m. Uh, Kamau started at 10.21 uh, so you can get the time Kamau took to cover that for 4 kilometers so this is 5 uh, 6 minus 1 this is a uh, we borrow 1 here so we have 6 here so here it is 4 uh, remember when you are uh, subtracting time uh, when you borrow 1 you get 60 minutes so you add here so these are 66 minutes uh, so here it is zero. So this means 45 minutes. Uh, 45 minutes in terms of hours, it is the same as uh, three quarter of an hour. So this is equals to, uh, you can say it is 44, uh, you multiply by four divided by three, which will give you, uh, you use your calculator, you get, uh, this is uh, uh, 176, uh, you divide by three, and this will give you, uh, 58 58 kilometers 2 over 3 or you can say 58.6 uh, kilometers per hour kilometers because we are looking for speed kilometers per hour uh, but when you use decimal remember you have expo approximated or around the door for right and in there. so this is the exact speed uh, so that is how you work out that and you'll be able to get the three marks here uh, so for that, uh, that is for the formula, uh, getting the correct time, that will give you four ma the three marks. Here you get the time there, and uh, working out uh, this, that will give you a mark. Here you get five marks for getting the speed, that speed, working on that, uh, working on that, and finally getting the answer. So that is how you work uh, such kind of a problem. Uh, remember here, you need to be very logical, especially here, uh, this diagram normally will assist you a lot because you'll be able to see 
like uh, what is happening to the the, 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 the the operations taking place. So that's how you do that. Uh, thank you for watching.